Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. Recently in my April Faves and Veils I talked about decluttering and how I'm on a bit of a decluttering streak and I filmed a video of 100 things that I decluttered out of my house which I will link over here and I was not done when I was finished with those 100 things. I still had more to clear out. Even though I'm not a clutterbug at all, well I felt like I wasn't, I have managed to come up with another 100 things. I've also invited a few other YouTubers to join with me in decluttering 100 things from their homes. All of the YouTubers are awesome, their content is great and they live in different countries and they have different life circumstances. So I thought it would be interesting to see the different things that they manage to declutter out of their homes. So we've done this as a collaboration. If you are new here to my channel from one of those other channels, welcome. Thank you for watching my video, thank you for popping over. I would love to have you as a subscriber so please consider subscribing to my channel. The other channels are awesome, I've approached them individually, channels that I enjoy watching so please go and check out the playlist that I will link down below of the other videos showing 100 things being decluttered. So let's jump into the 100 things that I have managed to declutter out of my home. These pillowcases, we just don't use them. I found this creme brulee mix in my cupboard and it expired in April 2011, so I think that can go. This hot chocolate has about one or two servings left and it's been in the cupboard for ages and in fact it expired in 2013, so that can also go. This watch, because I just don't wear watches, this was just a really cheap one. This duvet cover set, which we have had for about a decade. This pair of duvets, I'm just gonna pair them together because these are just the cheap crappy ones we've always just bought cheap duvets and the stitching comes undone and all the stuffing moves around and they're just horrible and i've been slowly upgrading our duvets to really good ones like i mentioned in my april faves and fails and these can go now these parts from a food processor that i got from the op shop or thrift store which was actually broken and i tossed ages ago but i found these in the cupboard so these can go this pair of sports socks because it's lost all elasticity and it just creeps down into my shoes. This wide elastic belt, I just don't wear it. A wide belt like this just doesn't suit me because I have a short torso. This blush brush, I never use it. It's just kind of an awkward bulky shape. I've had it for years and years and years. This little makeup palette, I just don't use it. I also don't use this little e.l.f. palette. I normally highly, highly rate the e.l.f. Um, eyeshadows, in fact all their products that I've tried except for the mascara, but these aren't actually all that good. They're okay, but they're not in colors that I'm going to use. I mean, you can see I've used these two, tiny bit of that one, but I mean they're just standard colors and there's no point hanging on to it just for a couple of colors anyway. This top from Kmart, I bought two at the same time. I wanted them kind of loose and flowy. Um, so I bought a size 16 and then this one is a size 18 and I live in the 16. I got it in like a berry color. It is my favorite t-shirt. But the 18 is just a bit too big. Um, the neckline is just slightly too wide and it's constantly slipping and showing my bra strap, which is annoying. So this is going to go. I wish I'd bought this in a 16 as well. I love the color, but no point hanging on to it if I'm not going to wear it. This bracelet. These rings, I just don't wear them anymore and some of them are looking a bit old and tarnished so they can all go. I haven't worn this little knit tunic in a while, like a couple years, so that can go. This is a gorgeous pair of off-white canvas curtains. They've got the thing at the top that we like and they are super long. We had them in a house in England which had really high ceilings but they are not thermal lined or blackout lined. Um, there's no point hanging on to them if I'm not going to use them. We have all the curtains we need. I have this little pile of suction hooks. I think they came in a pack, obviously, of six. And I only needed one, so these have been hanging around forever. And if I haven't used them by now, I'm never going to. This little waistcoat, it is super cute. And it's got like a lace detail panel on the back. But it's too big and I don't wear it. A couple of stud bracelets. These were super in a while back, but... I haven't worn them in forever. This lip gloss is at least six or seven years old and it's also discolored, so time for that to go. Another pair of curtains, these also have the eyelets at the top. They're very thin though, they are thermal and blackout, but 
they're kind of weird and they don't fit any of our windows so they can go this little knit vest thing Daniel used to wear it but no it doesn't want to these two single duvet covers sets a white shirt that both boys have outgrown outgrown brand new but Noah won't wear it outgrown by Daniel Noah won't wear it too small a little t-shirt that we customized for Daniel back in the day but Noah doesn't want it outgrown ditto also too small and another one Daniel wore these Noah doesn't want to and they are kind of like worn through on the knees two pairs of navy school trousers outgrown some cargo pants that Daniel wore and outgrew but apparently Noah's not a cargo pants kind of guy a bunch of ties and belts Daniel's outgrown this t-shirt but I won't save it for Noah because it's all pilled up and it's not in good condition this ancient queen size duvet cover set we have now migrated over to all white duvet cover sets and our ancient ones are all going this bath mat look how faded it is in spots it's just awful another hoodie outgrown and the zip is broken this random pair of pillowcases we don't even have the duvet cover that used to go with it this old bath mat also a bit faded in places and coming apart a bit started clearing out my nail polishes because once you go gel and jamberry you can't go back to regular polish so this is the first lot to make the cut another outgrown top i bought these little razors after seeing a tutorial on youtube of somebody who thins hair with it but i've had them for ages and i've never used it so they can go this has been lurking in our garage it's one of those command I don't know, caddies, shower caddy things. We don't use it, so that can go. Noah's growth spurt is going strong. These are little replacement heel thingies, and they go with the pink shoes that I've already tossed because they were broken. You would have seen it in my last 100 Things video, so these can go now. A Sharpie that's all dried out. The hair tie. Have you seen how short my hair is and has been for years? This little emery board that I used for scuffing up things when I was crafting. I don't really craft much anymore and if I do I can use sandpaper. My kids have outgrown this book. I've got a little baggie of these glass pebbles to which I've glued photos and the plan is to stick magnets on the back and they make great gifts but I've had them for ages I'm not going to do it so I'm going to pass it on to a friend. The CD folder because I have one in the car for music discs yes we still have CDs in the car and then I have a massive one with all of our backup discs, so don't need this little one. This clock has nowhere to go in our home. The last time I used it was for my New Year's Eve shelf. I'll insert a picture here. But I actually forgot that I had it. I found it in a cupboard and if I haven't missed it, then I won't miss it if it's gone. A book my kids are done with. This book, I really enjoyed it, but if I want to reread it, I'll get it from the library. I found this pouch with um, some instruction manuals, including one for the fridge. Pretty sure I know how our fridge operates, so that can go. This little brown dish that I just don't use. Never used this. I have a bunch of sewing patterns that I just know I won't use. This canvas that I've never actually used. It was only a couple of bucks. I've had it for ages, and if I need one, I can just go and get one at the dollar store. This ancient candle. The candle can go. We'll definitely still use the glass container little photo album this 8 by 8 inch scrapbook album two floss boxes full of crafty bits and beads I know of a friend who will enjoy this some homemade patterns for things that I'm not going to sew again this little ceramic dish I used to hold pins in it when I was sewing but I just don't really sew that often this pair of socks which I've literally just pulled off my feet and it's going in the bin because they have shrunk and they keep twisting and it is very annoying I found this custard powder in the cupboard and I was going to make custard and then I realized it expired um, in September 2014. I'm sure it's still fine but we have custard so seldom clearly that there's no point hanging on to it. Outgrown navy school shorts. These shorts that Daniel outgrew and passed down to Noah but now Noah won't wear them. More shorts these were passed down to Noah from a friend and he won't wear them. A couple of faded and bleach spotted bath mats. This book, it's actually a really good book. The little collection of knitting needles. I have really tried to like knitting. I like the idea of knitting, but I just don't like knitting. A little pile of yarn. 
this little embroidered like doily thing it's stained and I don't even know why I have it this tiny little spanner I didn't even know I had it and so I'm not likely to look for it and I don't actually know what it's for some crafty bits that I've had forever and with all the best intentions of the world I've just never used so they can go to a friend who I know will use them this 12 by 12 project pocket again I don't use it this plastic zip bag I think I got a throw in it um, and I thought I'd use it to store things but I just don't this fleece hat that I've had since England days I just don't wear it and if we go to the snow or something I've got black knit beanies and I'd wear one of those this empty jamboree box that my kit came in this pile of stickers I've had again since my scrapbooking days in England and I just haven't used them if I haven't used them by now I'm not going to this pair of little pump bottles I bought for nail polish remover but they actually leak and because they don't seal well the nail polish remover also evaporates random little gift bag this plastic serving platter thing. I used to use this for jamberry parties, but I don't do parties anymore, so this can go. A couple of little plastic bowls that I don't need anymore. This pair of old frames that are painted brown at some stage and it's kind of scuffed. Um, I don't use them, so they can go. The box from my iPhone, I really don't think I need to keep the box. A pile of jamberry business cards because I decided to downgrade to hobbyist, so I don't need these anymore. Three little bead organizers and there are some beads in there. Randomly a couple of cabinet pulls um, that I've never actually used. This fan that was given to me by our Korean exchange student a few years ago that we had staying with us. Um, it was a lovely thought and I have actually used this when it got really hot in church but I just I haven't used it in ages so there's no point keeping it. These gel strips that are supposed to go in the back of your shoes. I don't even know how long I've had these and I've never used them. This off-white dress, which is too small. This dress that I thrifted, um, I don't know why I bought it. It kind of fits a little bit funny. I hope you enjoyed seeing the 100 things that I managed to get out of my house. I am loving the freedom that comes with extra space and no more clutter. It just kind of blocks your energy and it's great to just get it out of the house. I would urge you to do this, even if you don't have a YouTube channel. Go and see if you can find 100 things around your house to get rid of. It's actually surprisingly easy. I thought it would take ages to get to 100 things in the first place and I've just completed 200 things altogether. This is counting my last video. So just give it a go and see what you can come up with. Please don't forget to check out the other videos in this collaboration. I've got the link down below. And I'd love to hear from you in the comments down below. Which item that I have decluttered would you have liked to have taken off my hands? That's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Please give us a like if you enjoyed this video and consider subscribing if you haven't. I'll see you next time.